Greetings people, tis I, 480 volts, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Alright, couple things. Well, one thing, really. I didn't realize it, you can just barely see it past Luzu here, but there's, uh, there's uh, a book here, and if I bend down and grab it... It's the Albed Primer Volume 2. Yeah, if you're trying to learn the Albed language, you kind of need that. So, yeah. Alright, let's keep on going. Oh, the secrets of the Albed language are revealed. Okay, P equals B. Alright, so it's going to take all the P's that we've been seeing and turn them into B's. Alright. Um, there's a few other things I can do that I didn't realize I could do. Um... I want to say there's... No, I think that's later. I think that's later. Okay. Yeah, so I think what I want to do now is go and do what Waka told me to do and go present myself to the Temple Summoner. Let's see how that works. Actually, let me talk to some people around here. Let me talk to these kids. Oh, yeah, that's that little girl. She's been saying that the whole time. I can't figure... Okay, he's been saying that. Okay, never mind. Those were the only two I couldn't remember what they said. Oh, hey, girl. Talk, talk. Did she walk away? Yeah, she's going to walk away. Uh, on a hot day like today, it's best to be... Okay, I've already... T you know what? Forget it. I've already talked to these people. Let's just... Let's just go in here. All right. Well, this looks like a temple to me. It was then, standing in that place. I began to realize how different this world was from my own. I guess you didn't have anything like this in your world. This music we are hearing, it is called the Hymn of the Faith. But it's not faith the way you think it's spelled. If you've played this game before, you know how it's spelled. You'll see it's spelled later. Let's talk to some peeps. May the Apprentice Summoner return us to safety. Oh, we're praying to an Apprentice Summoner? I'm sure that Lord Braska is watching over our Apprentice Summoner. I have no idea who Lord Braska is or who our Apprentice Summoner is, so I cannot confirm or deny if Lord Braska is indeed watching over the Apprentice Summoner. The village was attacked by Sin when I was just a little kid, yeah? The village was burned to ashes. I still have nightmares of that day. Oh, yeah? Don't bother people when they're praying! It's against the teachings. Sorry, dude. Quite a statue you got there, buddy. Ten years have passed since Lord Braska became High Summoner. And finally, we receive a statue for our temple. Oh, what's a High Summoner? I was like, what? Uh, uh, I, I got too close to Sin's uh, toxin. <laughs> That's your safe word. It was funny hearing myself make the same excuse over and over. Funny, and a little sad. The summoners are practitioners of a sacred art, sworn to protect the people of Yevon. Only a chosen few become summoners, who call forth entities of great power, the Aeons. The Aeons hear our prayers and come down to us. They are the blessing of Yevon. So what he meant was that we should respect some kind of great men or something like that, I figured. Sounds about right. I'm guessing the uh, current summoner, apprentice summoner or whatever, it's probably some old geezer. Pray hard and the toxin will surely re release its grip on you. But what if it doesn't? You know, that's the thing. M me, oh yeah, I've already talked to you. Hi, summoner Gandalf. Give us your blessing and watch over my family. Gandalf, not Gandalf. Gandalf. <laughs> okay, Gandalf. 
I do know that name. I just didn't know that this statue belonged to it. Alright, and here we just have a bunch of books. Nothing... Nothing worth noting. And then in here... Yeah, okay. So yeah, this music, the Hymn of the Faith. Nice little choir piece we got going on. Alright, let's uh, see what's going on here. See, uh, only sworn guardians may approach the Cloister of Trials. Oh, well, I was told to go present myself to the Temple Summoner, so... I sure hope we don't run into sin on our next voyage. Oh, yeah, like that's gonna happen. All right, let me get out of here. This seems to be a dead end. Oh, hey, guys. I hope I get over the toxin quick. The big operation's coming up. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm rooting for you, not Wedge. Oh. Oh, she's still on that. Please let the Aurochs score at least one goal. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh. Well, that's dedication. Whatever else you say about the Aurochs, they are dedicated. Alright, this is a dead end. Let me find, um... Let me find Waka and ask him what gives. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting who I have and have not talked to. Alright, let's just, uh... I believe this is Waka's place. Hey, guy. Sorry, man. No time for lunch yet. Take a nap. You look bushed. I am bushed. Yeah, let's uh, let's choose to take a nap. You could at least go see how they are doing. We can't interfere. It's a rule. But. It's been nearly. It's been nearly. But it's been nearly. I love this music. It's been nearly a day already. Perhaps you could go look for us. People are searching for him now. Thank you. Who cares whether he comes back or not? But he might die. Fine, let him. Do you... Do you hate him so? But if he dies, you'll never be able to tell him how much you hate him. Well, that just sounds like horrible panting. Uh, parenting. Panting? Parenting is what I meant to say. Um... Okay, well that was obviously his uh, mother, and that was him when he was a kid. I, I feel like they may have gotten Tara Strong to voice him as a kid, but I, I could be so wrong on that. That's just, that's who the voice reminds me of. But anyway. Now we want to, is it now when I can do the thing? There's a thing I can do... It really might be later, but there's a thing I can... Yeah, no, it's later, because that dog is there. Okay, never mind. Forget that. There's something I can do with her, but... Yeah. Alright, what we got over here? Looks like we got more people. Yeah, um... The apprentice entered the trials and hasn't come back. Sorry, I can't do more to help. You understand, eh, Sonny? The whole village the whole village is wound up with the apprentice not back from the trials. He looks pretty weak. Maybe he just can't take it. Uh, who? The villagers have a lot on their minds. You should stay quiet for a while. Intoxication is no excuse for bothering people with questions. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, Lord Brosco will be looking over her. I'm sure she'll be returning, yeah? Oh, the summoner's a she. Interesting. Uh, well, there's Waka. Waka's a guardian. He should go help. Oh, Waka's a guardian now? Dad, come on. Let's go help. What are you saying? You would break the precepts, fool child. Yeah, but... 
pray with daddy for the summoner, okay? Yeah! Well, that doesn't seem like it's having... It's very effective. Hey, kids. I got a bad feeling, yeah? I'm sure everything's fine. Well, this last summoner almost... Don't say that again, please. Ah, uh, my apologies. Okay. May the protection of Yevon be with our apprentice. Okay. That's all we're gonna say. Let's talk to these fools. Is something wrong? The summoner hasn't returned from the trial. Eh? Well, I read the summoner, really. Huh? There's a room in there called the Cloister of Trials. Beyond is where the apprentice summoner prays. If the prayer is heard, the apprentice becomes a fully fledged summoner. Remember? Uh, so someone is in there somewhere, and they haven't come back out. Right, I got it. A day's already gone by. Is it particularly dangerous in there? Sometimes, yes. Why don't you go in and help? There's already guardians in there. Besides, it's forbidden. Hey, but what if something happens? What if the summoner dies? The precepts must be obeyed. Like I care. I'm not from around here anyway. I don't care about your stupid precepts. I do think it's funny how he said that. He's like, like I care. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. All right, the Cloister of Trials. Those who seek to learn the of Yevon's secret arts are tested by the Cloister of Trials. Find the right way, and you will be taken to the Chamber of the Faith. See, that's what I meant when you when I said faith isn't spelled the way you think it is. Examine objects with X to open the way. All right, well, this temple, uh, there are multiple temples. Spoiler alert, there are multiple temples like this throughout the game. They do not, um, you don't get random in battles in here, so you're free to roam around and do whatever you want. But let's, uh, let's examine this thing real quick. Oh, I can't examine it. All right, let's examine this thing real quick. A strange glyph glows. Glowing glyph. Okay. Well, that did something. Okay. So now when I examine this, I can... A glyph glows on the wall. Touch the glyph? Sure. And I love this music, by the way. This is one track that does not feel like it was changed at all from the original. Like, this sounds just like the original. The arranged version didn't really change it at all. Or if it did, it's so subtle, even my ears can't pick it up. Right, let's examine this. You must use a sphere to go any further. Okay, well, give me a sphere. Glyph spheres open the way to the Chamber of the Faith. Destruction spheres open the way to hidden treasure. It seems that besaid spheres are also necessary. Well, I guess I took something from that pedestal. Removed glyph sphere. You can carry only one sphere at a time. Despite the fact that Titus has two hands, he can only hold one sphere. And it's small enough to fit in only one hand, but he can only... whatever. Um, we're carrying this sphere, so yeah. Um... We will need, uh... Well, you'll see, um... So, like, you'll see, you're looking for recesses along the way that a sphere will fit into. So, like, this guy, for example, the door seems to be locked by an unseen force. You see a sphere-shaped recess. You are holding a glyph sphere. Well, let's insert the glyph sphere and see what happens. All right, so spheres, uh, think of them almost as like keys in Zelda games. But, eh, that's probably not the best way to say it. But the cool thing is, is I've opened this door, but if I examine it again, I can, I can once more take the sphere out of the door. So I've still got the glyph sphere in my hand, even though I already opened this door. So that's kind of cool. So this area is very puzzle based. Now, like I said, there's multiple temples and this one is... It's the first one you encounter. It's the easiest one. It's not going to be too demanding of you, but you do got to be like aware of this stuff. So the first thing I think we have to do... 
I hope I don't mess this up. All right, I think the first thing we got to do is insert this sphere right here. So we'll put it in here. Now the problem is... Now I can't get that sphere back, so hopefully I don't need it. But in here is uh, a destruction sphere. Well, let's take it. No, I don't think I want it to... Well, yeah. Well, okay, I've got it. I've got the destruction sphere. So let's... Uh, Put it right here on this little, um, uh, wait, what did it say? Yeah, okay. Yeah, put it right here on this little pedestal. Now, that didn't really do anything. But if I touch these symbols... There you go, it opens this. Now, if I remove, if I go in here, there's another sphere in here. This is a Besaid sphere. Let's take it. All right. Remove Besaid sphere. Okay. Let's just, I gotta put this Besaid sphere somewhere, so let me just put it right here. And now let's go ahead and grab our destruction sphere. And I believe we have to put it right here. I think this is how this works. And true to its name, it destroys something. It destroyed a wall. And yeah, so you can, you don't even need to bother with the destruction sphere if you just want to get from point A to point B. You just use the glyph spheres and the, uh, uh, respective village spheres, in this case, the Besaid spheres, but if you use the destruction spheres, you can get some hidden treasure. In this case, we can get the Rod of Wisdom, and usually the treasure's uh, good, so you definitely want to go for it. So yeah, um, sweet. Well, now that we did that, let's go ahead and grab our handy-dandy uh, Besaid sphere. I'm pretty sure the destruction sphere was destroyed. Uh... I will verify that. No, it's still there. Cool. I don't think we need it anymore, though. We'll just we'll just plop our Besaid Sphere here. Insert the Besaid Sphere. All right. Well, now now that's not me. That that happens automatically. They're just showing you that I can in fact move the pedestal set with a sphere to the correct place. If you move it improperly, step on the shining glyph to return the pedestal to its original place. So, example, if I were, if, okay, so if you stand in front of it at an angle, you can push it. It's a little tricky, but like, for, for example, let's say if I move it here, I don't think Tedious can really get around the other side to move it back. Like, I can move it this way, but I can't, I can't move it right again because I've moved it too far left. I can't squeeze back there. You just step on this little panel right here. It's like a reset. And no, it didn't reset the whole thing. It just reset that pedestal. Anyway, this is pretty self-explanatory. We just move the pedestal forward. Make sure the Besaid Sphere is in it. It will not work if the Besaid Sphere is not in this pedestal. But... Hey! It's gotten into you. Hey, it's okay. Only summoners, apprentice summoners, and their guardians can enter here. It's a tradition, very important. So what about you? Me? I'm a guardian. A guardian? You, you can't even guard a goal in Blitzball. Oh! Uh, whoa, ah! Someone has gone on a pilgrimage to pray at every temple in Spira. Guardians protect them. The guardian's in there now. One of them's got a sure fuse, and who knows what the other's thinking. Well, now that we've come this far, might as well go all the way. What are you doing here? Didn't think we'd be able to handle it. 
No, it's, uh, it's just... See, I told you she gets mad easy. Is the summoner all right? Who are you? What kind of person is the summoner? Surely that's not her. Well, that's a beautiful young lady. Apparently she has heterochromia. Man, was I surprised. And here I was thinking summoners were all old geezers. You clearly have not played a Final Fantasy game before. Summoners are always beautiful young women. Final Fantasy IV, Final Fantasy IX, and now this game. Also, love the uh, alternate version of the Hymn of Faith we were hearing earlier. It was it was just one singer. You're going to notice that throughout the game, and I'll explain about it a little bit more later. But let's talk to this dude. Putting your transgression aside for now, let us celebrate the birth of a summoner. Well, okay. Is there anybody else in here? No, they all deserted. They all went out to go see the summoner. This guy can't see the summoner because he's stuck at his post. Ah ha! Joke's on you. I'm gonna go drool all over her. I meant Titus is gonna drool all over her, not 480. Hey, over here. The girl's like 17 years old. I don't need... Although I will say, this was back in 2000. I was like... What? Super, super young? And this dude here. That's the dude that caught her. I can't even talk to him. Like, it, it literally will not... Like, there's an invisible wall right here. I can't even talk to the dude. Okay, whatever. He's an interesting-looking creature, though. He looks like he has a sawed-off unicorn horn. Yeah. Probably nobody important. All right, well, let's see what's going on here. What? Uh, uh, Stop putting me in headlocks, bro! Wait till you see this. I can't see anything. Ready. Okay. Okay. This music is appropriately called The Summoning. It's interesting how in Final Fantasy 4 IV and 9, summoners are like a race of people. They're born that way. But in this game, you actually have to train to become a summoner. It's a thing you choose to do. And that is... Okay. It's quite a bird you got there, girl. Don't pet the bird. Don't pet the bird. You pet the bird. Okay, I'll admit, that's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. Jeez, lady, how many belts do you need? I had never seen anything like it in my life. Sure, it was a little scary, but still... I could feel a strange kind of gentleness coming from it. 
Oh, we get to name it. It's a it's a summon, or is they're called in this game Aeons. And uh, this is Val of Four, I think is how you say it. So yeah, like Final Fantasy VIII, you get to name the main character and you get to name your summons. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, I'm gonna keep this name for it. I remember that night we talked for the first time. I didn't know it then, but after that night, everything changed for everyone. For me. Let me introduce you to the team. This guy here wants into the tournament so bad, I let him on the team. Oh, whatever! You practically begged me to join your team. His memory's a little fuzzy, so don't mind him if he says anything odd. Come on, say hi. Hey, guys. Uh, hi guys. Uh -huh. <laughs> so what's our goal? To do our best! They were just waiting for somebody to say that. We got a new goal now. Our new goal is victory! To win every match, defeat every opposing team, to bring the Crystal Cup back to our island. That's all we need to do to win. Easy, huh? Victory! Victory! victory. 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 Obedience brings victory, victory and victory, victory is life. Victory, 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 victory. Yeah! Okay. Uh, let's see. Hey, I was hoping you'd join the team all along, yeah? Sure you were. There's gonna be six teams from all over Spira at the tournament. Oh, that's nice. It's a rough setup. One loss and you're through, yeah? Uh, that's all you're gonna say. I could have gotten items from these guys if I had talked to them multiple times at the beach. I didn't realize that. Oops. Nothing major. Just a few potions, some money, that kind of thing. Victory, huh? Hit the other team hard and make it easier on the goalkeeper, yeah? Uh, everyone's acting like we already won. Not that I can blame them, yeah? Okay. All right, let's uh, let's talk to the girl. She seems interested in us. You heathen! What? Stay away from the summoner. What? You're a bad man. What? Lady Yuna, be careful. Oh, I. G it was really my fault to begin with. I get it. Oh, oh, oh. I'm Yuna. Thank you so much for your help earlier. Huh? Uh, I'm sorry about that. Wasn't that... Wasn't I not supposed to... Guess I kind of overreacted. Oh, no. I was overconfident. Um, I saw that Aeon thing. That's amazing. Uh, really? Do you think I can become High Summoner? Lady Yuna, come play with me some more. So, tomorrow then. Tomorrow? We're going on the same boat, aren't we? Oh, really? We can talk more. Huh. We can talk more. You can tell me all about Xanarkand. Wait, what? Xanarkin. She's cute, yeah? You making fun of me about Xanarkin? Uh, yeah, or she's not my type. Let's, um, uh, let's go with yeah. Don't get no ideas. No promises there, big guy. Hey, but what if she, like, comes on to me? That's not going to happen. If you get tired, let me know. I had a bed made for you. Yeah, if you say, uh, she's not my type, uh, Waka will say, then we're cool. What do you mean, uh, you can tell me about Xanarkin? Are you making fun of me, girl? Stay away from the summoner! Oh, calm down, lady. I, I, I helped Yuna, okay? Who knows what it would have happened to- Well, I guess technically I didn't. She kind of just came out on her own, didn't she? 
Stay away from the summoner. Okay. So the Gestapo over here is not going to let me talk to Yuna. Maybe if I can sneak around like this way. I know. I'll, I'll just I'll hit circle. Stay away from the summoner. Nope. The old the old crone's got eyes in the back of her head. Stay away from the summoner. I wasn't even going to talk to your stinking summoner. I was going to try to get all the way whatever. You people suck. Um, I guess that's all I really need to do. All right, I'm just going to go talk to Waka then and tell him I'm tired. Ready for bed. Yeah, I'll go to bed. Good. Sleep tight. Oh, well, what's this? I, I must say, I really do like the uh, effect that they have whenever Titus is either dreaming or having a flashback with this sort of old VHS, uh, like, grainy, staticky thing. It's just a nice touch. And I guess if I walk too far back, it just warps me back here. Anyway, there's uh, the girl. Did she say her name already? I can't remember if she did or not. Well, let's go ahead and talk to her. Where's, Where's that, that boat? boat? Everyone will find us if it doesn't come soon. Okay, Yuna. Her name is Yuna. You really sure this is okay? Would you take me to Xanarkand? Well, it requires going back a thousand years in the past. What the? You said you'd go with me. Oh, her. Oh, hey. I, uh... I thought, I thought Waka, Waka told, told you not to get, get any ideas. ideas. He did? Yeah. Love triangle. Yeah, so you're coming with me. Hey, stop dreaming. What the? You with a woman? You can't even catch a ball. Oh, what's the matter? Gonna cry again. Cry, cry. That's the only thing you're good for. I hate you. Huh? What'd you say? You have to speak loudly. I hate you! Huh? That's the spirit. You can do it! Tell him how you really feel! I hate you! Whoa. He's dead, okay? Dead. Wait, what? We still dreaming? Somebody know me? He does look a lot like Chapu. I was surprised too the first time I saw him. Oh, she's talking about somebody else. But no matter what he looks like, he isn't Chapu. You shouldn't have brought him here in the first place. Oh, they talking about me. Yeah, but he needed our help. Excuses again? Yeah, but that's it. No more. Enough, Waka. Huh. Uh. Scary. So, who's Chapu? My little brother, Chapu. Looked like you. Really? He's dead? He was with the Crusaders when they fought Sin last year. He didn't make it. Dang, I'm sorry, man. I first heard on the day of the tournament. Oh, so that's why. I became a guardian to fight Sin, yeah? Revenge, then? That was the idea. I'm more worried about a stupid game now than avenging my brother. Well, after the next tournament, I'll be a guardian full time. I know it kind of looks like I'm using you, but I'm not. Yeah, you totally are. Don't worry. I mean, I owe you a lot. You really helped me out, you know? What I mean is... 
thanks, Waka. <laughs> Stop. You're embarrassing me. Haha, <laughs> bromance. Besides, I'm totally using you to get to, to Yuna. Um... Okay, uh, so a couple things. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about some of the voice acting going on here. Um, I love Yuna's voice. It's perfect for her. But I gotta say, <laughs> that girl, Lulu, um, the character's supposed to be, like, 22, I think. And that voice actress sounds like she's a 50-year-old woman. I mean, she does a great job for the character, but I just, like, could they have found somebody who was a little bit... Younger sounding? Oh well. And as for Jack's voice, uh, if you hung around this channel, you might recognize it. That is the voice of Hunter in uh, Spyro the Dragons. Hunter and Ripto, to be exact. So that's kind of cool. Uh, he's He's got a really... He's great for that character. He's perfect. All right. Um, yeah, you know, I think I'll save here and end off. Uh, we, did a, we, did a, we did a lot. So... Uh, yeah, in the next video, we'll see what else we can do. So thank you so much for watching. I'm 480 Volts, and you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Pieces!